Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a 2001 Road Trek 190 Popular with 69,945 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2001 Road Trek 190 Popular. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. If you're wondering about the differences between the Road Trek 190 Popular and 190 Versatile, we do have a video comparing those two. We'll drop a link on the video screen as well as in the video description so you can check that out. Without any further ado, we'll get going here. We've got your wet dry basin here in the center. Got the trench drain here, so the drain is below this cover. You can pull that out if you need to clean the drain out. Essentially, you're gonna stand in the middle here. Your shower is inside of here as well as the toilet. Got the fantastic fan overhead that can act like an exhaust fan for the shower or like an attic fan for if you are getting hot here, you can open up the windows, bring the cool outside air in. Got the shower curtain track here. We'll check out the shower curtain and the shower itself here in a little bit. Got about 72 inches headroom in the main part of the coach in the wet dry basin, and then about 70 inches in the rear. The front two seats do swivel. So you can swivel this seat around, connect it with this to be able to make up a small bed. We got some pictures of those beds made up in the Road Trek 190 Popular versus Versatile comparison video, so you should check that out if you're curious about that. We do have some fading around the edges of the carpet, which is very common in Road Treks of this era. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a cup holder, storage pouch. This is a screened window with the mechanism to open that behind this little triangle here. We do have a seat belt here on the third seat. Got a privacy curtain that goes all the way around. Storage rail up top. Got the generator start stop switch. It's an Onan 2800 with 130 hours. Has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Porch light. Got the levels test for your propane, your water tanks, and your coach battery. Got the water pump on off switch, coach battery disconnect. Disconnects everything from the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging systems, which are your shore power plug-in, your alternator while you drive, or your generator. Got a wardrobe closet here to hang your goodies. Some table legs. Got the smaller table for up front here. We've also got a larger table in the back below the couch cushion. Single basin stainless sink. That good countertop space here. That window does not open. Two burner propane cooktop. Got your range light and fan here. Got a light there. Water heater on off switch that lights itself. 110 outlet. Microwave oven that runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator only. Another plug in there that the microwave is plugged into. Got a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide alarm here up on this other little storage rail. Check out TV closet here. Got your manuals inside of this bag. 
So the TV does slide out. You can swivel that around to face where you'd like. Got 12 volt power behind that. Also got this counter slide out here that you can use to create some more counter space. TV remote. Got a privacy screen that you can flip out here to create some more privacy in the bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out now. So here in the bathroom, you're gonna pull the shower curtain around this track. Use this as your exhaust fan that runs off the coach battery. Got a privacy flip out here on this door. You can flip that out and cover up this space to gain some more privacy. Get your toilet paper holder. Nice storage above the couch in the rear. We've got a duo therm AC and heat pump here. The heat pump will work till around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace. It's controlled via the thermostat here. This window does not open. These windows do open, but they do not have screens. This window opens and has a screen on the lower portion. Got 110 power. So here in the 190 Popular, it's designed to have two separate twin sleepers. Makes it easy to get out of bed at night without crawling over one another. You can also use the board below here and the table to span this gap. And you'll use these cushions to fill in the blank. I'm gonna drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like made up and get some measurements. Also, this is going to fit down below that so you can make up the big bed. The twin sleepers measure approximately 74 inches long and 27 inches wide on the driver's side and just a little shorter at about 72 inches long on the passenger side. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 72 to 74 inches front to back and 72 inches side to side. This bed is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction if so desired. Down here below the couch bed in the rear, we've got the propane furnace, back of the water heater where that can be bypassed. That's for winterization. Got the winter tank. Got your fuse panel here. The breakers on the left are what's running off of the AC power, so that'd be your shore power plug-in or your generator. Those are all labeled. Got the fuses here. That's what's running off of the DC system, your coach batteries. It's a nice little cheat sheet here because if you have any questions of what's running on what, you can come here and see what has a breaker and know that's your plug-in or your generator. See what has a fuse, you know that's your coach batteries or battery, I should say and we've got access to the storage space in the rear of the coach. Here we are sitting at the rear of the road truck. How do cows stay up to date? They read the moose paper. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. It's controlled via the controls on the top of the unit here. So you select the power that you'd like that to run on, either AC, so your plug-in or your generator, DC, meaning your coach battery, or propane gas. Light the gas function here, control the thermostat. Freezer up top. Got a storage drawer below the extra seat here behind the passenger chair. All in all, we got a nice specimen here does have some blemishes like the faded carpet, things that you'd expect in a 2001. Nothing that affects the fun you can have with this unit. Nice clean upholstery. Going through our full inspection, ready to hit the highway. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions. I'm gonna call this one an eight to an eight and a half out of 10. Check it out at Coon Truck and RV, truckandrv.com. The best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player with cassette player. A little glove box here. Nice clean upholstery. No sign of burn marks. Not noticing any funny smells in here. 
So although it's tough to say for sure, the cigarette lighter is also unused. I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2001 Road Trek 190 Popular. This RV measures 20 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual Fiamma awning. It has four brand new tires. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 Express van chassis with a 5.7 liter V8 engine with 69,945 miles. All in all, a nice looking exterior on this one. We do have some blemishes as you expect for a 2001. I'll try to point some of those out as we go around the coach. Furnace exhaust. Storage space. The coach battery is located behind this flashing. Got some boo-boos on the stripes throughout like so. Got the air conditioner in there. Got the fill for the winter tank. We got a mark there on the door from the spare tire. We did put that tire inside of one of these bags here to help prevent that from continuing to happen. Got your propane tank, tow package. A little bit of clear coat coming off here on the corner. Got the fill for the engine and the generator. Got your generator exhaust right here. Back of the water heater. A closer look at some of these stripes. Back of the refrigerator. Outside shower. City water in. You can fill the fresh water tank by opening this valve here directly from the city water connection. Coax in. Storage compartment here for your power cord, water cords water hoses, I should say. Uh, got a light there. And your sewer dump right here. Again, some little nicks throughout like this. Not something you're gonna notice when this coach is driving by. Definitely has some good shine left. Mm -hmm. 